Hi guys, welcome back to Fragments of a Simple Life, where every video I make is super simple. Today we're going to be playing with reusable stickers. This is a reusable sticker pad that actually belongs to my son. So if you take a look here, it has a little bit of like a masculine theme, I guess you could say. It has 165 stickers and five different scenes. Um, I'm going to pull out the sticker pages first. We have played with this before in my house. But each page of stickers coincides with a different background that you can put the stickers on. So, for example, this first one we have is mostly boats and kids swimming. There's um, different themes within the theme. So, we have like pirate ships and cargo boats and like cruise ships um, so that you can give the picture a different theme. So that's the first one. The next one we have here is all different kinds of automobiles basically. So everything from a bus to kind of like a limo. We have an ambulance here upside down, a trash truck fire engine and police, taxi, this is kind of like um, what we call in America UPS, I'm sure everyone knows what that is, um, and some other different types of car, um, trucks like that, and then just like regular semis, regular cars, a pizza car, flower delivery, all different kinds, and again this page has its own um, corresponding background. We also have this one. Now this is construction, obviously. Don't ask me to name <laughs> like any of these things. My son is three years old and he literally knows what they are better than I do. And that's a bulldozer, that's an excavator. Like, that's a steamroller or a cement mixer. Like, he knows the difference more than I do. But I really do like the little construction workers. You can kind of see them here. They even have a girl, which I love. And then this one. Oh, no. It's upside down. Hold on. Let's turn it. This is a train station. So, we have different kinds of trains, commuter trains, and like old school trains here, like what is it called, like a steam engine, um, so they have different kinds of trains for like different, again, different scenarios that you want to build, and then they have all different kinds of people down here, we have a girl with her dog right here, and some luggage, and like suitcases and backpacks, a man with flowers, like, like maybe he's meeting somebody perhaps an old lady right here with her bags and a roller like um suitcase a guy with a guitar um not sure why <laughs> but just all kinds of people because they're traveling and then this last one i think the last one yeah this one's airplanes and helicopters with some employees, like airport employees, and they have this little thing that carries our suitcases and our luggage from one place to another. I don't know what they're called, um, but there's all different kinds. There's even like jets here from different angles and like old planes and then newer planes, all different kinds, different sizes. These are humongous here. These are the biggest ones. And even little tiny planes right there. So, as far as the scenes, the first one we have kind of looks like the Bay Area um, here in California. It almost looks like a take on the Golden Gate Bridge or something, just the wrong color. Um, but it's like a water scene, I'm guessing some ocean. A little dock here and there's cars and boats and sunshine in the background and then you just fill in this part 
The next scene is for the automobiles. So this is like a gas station and tunnels and there's a street up here and then a street down here. So you could put like people at the gas station or a car at the gas station, whatever you want to do. The next one looks like it's kind of supposed to be like the middle of nowhere and this is obviously the construction scene. So you can see like rocks and dirt and a dirt road. It really looks like they're supposed to be obviously like currently working on something. We have the woods and pine trees and again a sunny day. <clears throat> and then next we have, oops, sorry guys, I have a little frog in my throat. We have the train station. So here's like an old school station up here. We have one, two, three, four tracks. So you can obviously like put the people up there and then put the trains on the tracks. It's pretty cute. <clears throat> and this is the airport. Again, I apologize you guys, I really have a frog in my throat. But this is the airport. There's room in the sky for planes. And uh, you can kind of see what the stickers do. See, because we've played with this before, I'm not really sure why this happens, but the stickers are reusable, but they make shadows. And you can kind of see it in the sky over here too. So let's just pretend that's not there. But yeah, it makes like a shadow of where the sticker was. It's really strange. Let's go back to the beginning. And maybe we'll uh, play with this one and see what we come up with. Let me go back and find the boats. I was already kind of thinking I want to do more of like um, a casual scene. My son used like the pirate ship here and here in a previous uh, one that he did. But we haven't used um, the sailboats. Look, there's even like a submarine here. So, um, let's do mm, the yellow and blue sailboat. You can see these stickers are a much different quality. These are not paper. They're almost like some kind of plastic. We'll put one here. And if I were to peel it off, you can see it comes off so easily. So we'll do that, and then let's see, how about, um, I don't know if there'd be a lighthouse there, I feel like that's weird, um, there might be a guy fishing, or there's a sailboat, there might be a fisherman, I don't know you guys, <laughs> not an expert, but we're gonna like, go with it. This one's never been used. You can kind of tell because it sticks. Um, let's put him further out. I feel like it would be the opposite. <laughs> like, I don't think a sailboat would that be that close to shore. We're just going to leave it, okay? We're playing. It's okay. Now, I want to do a kid jumping in the water for sure. This one's never been used again. Okay, there we go. We gotta do him kind of like coming off, right? Like he just jumped. This kid does look like he's going to belly flop for sure. Okay, now I feel like we should put someone on the sand. Um, so they look like they're playing probably. We have this girl, we've used her before, but we should probably use her again because she's the kind of the only one that's set up to look like she's playing on the shore. So let's scoot this over and we'll put her like here, maybe. That's pretty good. And then um, she needs stuff to play with. So we have a bucket here, or a pail, whatever you call it. 
and a shovel as well. So I'll give her some some tools to play with. We'll put the bucket like right next to her. Maybe we'll scoot it over like that. <clears throat> and I'm gonna get the shovel too because I can't play in the sand with just a bucket. And I think I'll lay it next to her or next to the bucket maybe like this. That's pretty good, right? Okay, and then I just saw that we have some sand here that kind of looks like overturned sand. So we'll put it here. That might be hard to see for you guys, I'm sorry. And then I saw this boat down here which is very small. Oh, come on. Little pucker. And we could put that maybe in the foreground or whatever it's called when it's far away and things look smaller. There. That's pretty good. Now, I do see some stickers of people like in the water we have this guy here who looks like he's jumping, I guess. And this guy has like a noodle floaty. Um, this guy's kind of, you know, I don't know, is that a kayak? This one's swimming. And I guess I kind of want to do the little girl because she looks like she could be near the shore, like playing while her sister is in the water right here maybe very close to where her like sister can watch her that's just my assumption mm, let's do this guy we could put him in the water like he's waiting for his friend to jump in right here like jump in dude like that Okay, let's do at least one more on this page. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe two more. I just saw a cute dog. Of course the girls would come down and bring their pup, right? We'll put him here. Like he's barking at the kids jumping in the water. Like, I want to jump in. And then I want to do the airplane in the sky. Maybe someone's getting proposed to via via airplane or something, I don't know. But we'll put that right there. Okay, that's actually not too bad, you guys. And these all just peel off and they stick right back on and you can use them later. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's do another one. I like the way that turned out. <laughs> All right, now we have transportation via cars and trucks. All right, let's make this, I kind of want to make this more about like everyday vehicles and less about like the big trucks and stuff. I don't know why. This car is like the closest to my car. My car is not a Jeep, but you know, that SUV vibe, I guess. We'll put it here. I don't know what size their gas, gas tank is on, but we'll put it here, maybe? Does that look right? I don't even know. Why does it look so tiny? <laughs> and, um, let's do, how about the flower van? Because it's facing the right direction. The flower van can also uh, be getting gas. I'm afraid to rip these because they're so like uh, clingy and plasticky. You don't want to ruin it. Um, let's make him like, or her, like maybe like pulling up to the station like that. Okay. Hopefully that's fine. I don't know. 
All right. <clears throat> um, now we have to put some people or some vehicles, I guess you could say, on the road. Um, how about this super cool lady in her convertible? I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on, let me see. Can you see her? She's too cool. We'll put her... Let's put her up here. Like she's going somewhere in a hurry. Okay. And... Mm, someone has to be going the same direction as her. This is like a random van. Maybe a taxi? How about a taxi? Maybe everyone's on their way to the tunnels to go to an airport in New York or something. Okay. Maybe one more going that direction. Maybe they're all supposed to be going the same direction. I don't really know. I'm like, are we on the freeway? Is this a street? What's the deal? Um, oh, the pizza guy. He could be going the same way as him. Okay, let's put him like here. See, I don't know if traffic is like two lanes going this way or if they can go opposite. I don't know, but he's crooked. Hold on. That's annoying. Can't be crooked on the road. I don't know if that's better. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. Now, I feel like we should at least put one truck, right? Um, let's see. I'm trying to look how much room we have. It's kind of not a lot. Oh, let's do the camper. Maybe someone's going camping like I just did. Except I did not use a camper. I used a tent. <laughs> how about this? We could put him. I have no idea where. How about right here? I think I'm going to cover up birds. Sorry, pigeons. Oh, well. Okay. And maybe one more thing. Something driving the same direction. Wait, is this guy driving the same direction? I like to think of everyone having like awesome cars and going on vacation in my head. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys just heard a car in real life. This is a daytime video. Okay, there we go. Is that too many cool people on the road? I hope not. Let me pause for loud cars. My apologies for the car sounds, you guys. I don't know if I've ever told anybody this, but, or I said it in this, on this channel, but I have a group of neighbors. Let's do the construction now, guys. I have a group of neighbors and they're all like, I don't know, what do you call it? Like car heads, car bros, I don't know. They're really into cars, which is fine with me. I've dated several guys that were very into cars back in my day. Um, but they're, they always have friends over and they're loud. And sometimes it looks like there's a car show, like in my cul-de-sac. Um, it seems like it's like a group of dudes, probably in their twenties that like put their money together to like buy a house or rent a house or something. Um, and every once in a while they have company and the company is loud, <laughs> very loud. So yeah, I automatically want to do this dump truck. Please don't expect me to know all the names you guys, like I was saying. My son is much more equipped than I am. But let's do the dump truck. I kind of want to put it right here in the front. Like that. I kind of have it dangling off the edge a little bit. Oh, sorry, let me scoot up. There we go. Okay, I still hear him. I still hear the car guy. I'm so annoyed right now. Okay, let's see. I'm not feeling the cement mixer. I feel like it doesn't fit. I don't know. 
maybe up on the street like the cement mixer is coming um no still no oops sorry sticker let's do this guy he looks like a foreman he has the plans he he knows what's going on i feel like in real life he would definitely be there like smack dab in the middle like this is where we're putting in the road he's like standing on this dirt road right here i didn't just like put him <laughs> in like an embankment like sit here in this embankment um this is interesting this is like a smaller vehicle carrying logs it might have like nothing to do with this construction site but we're gonna put him like on the street here maybe like right here blocking the entrance and being a jerk or something i feel like he just took over the whole entire situation now what else would be there um, I feel like this thing would be there to like make the road flat. Again, you guys, I'm literally saying like this thing because I'm completely naive. If anyone knows what all of these things are called, please feel free to put it in the comments because I'm clueless. Thanks so much. I don't know if I should put it like this. Maybe I should put it like this, like he's flattening this area right here. Literally like, I don't know. I don't know why he'd be going sideways when the street is going this way. Oops, it kind of wants to come up. Okay, this one's already not as fun for me. <laughs> Alright, let's put some workers. How about that? Let's get some people. Gotta put the girl out there. Do it, girl. Alright. We're gonna put her right here because she's digging and this is some kind of trench this is too it really does look like they're supposed to be building some kind of road or something i don't know um they have some guys like sitting and eating and that's freaking hilarious how about this guy you can be working too not just the woman we're gonna put you Digging right here. There. Everybody's working, right? Men, women, all of you. Um, huh. I always see like normal, like regular trucks parked at construction sites. Like maybe the foreman's coming to check on you, going from site to site, seeing how you're doing. And I don't want him to be in the embankment. This is his vehicle right here. So in my head, this guy and this truck go together. I don't like that. It's bothering me. I'm going to move it. I'm going to put it like farther down. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. I don't know why it's going to be like almost on top of another truck now. Oh, now it doesn't want to stick. Now it's being mean to me. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know if that's better. This one's bothering me, and I don't like the way it looks, but... Uh, we're going to keep going. Um, let's put another employee right here. He's pointing to something. He's like, yeah, do that over there. So maybe he's like second in command. And he could be, like, talking with his boss. Like, yes, sir. We got it under control, sir. See right over there? Blah, blah, blah. Maybe some other kind of vehicle in the street. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just do the cement truck. My son likes that one. I don't know why they'd be bringing cement onto the site already, but I'm not gonna pretend to know. Okay. All right, and let's put a barrier up in the background, obviously, so no one comes down this street that we're building. 
we're going to move this guy a little bit further like this. And we're going to put a barrier up right like that. Like, don't come this way. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'd probably be better if I knew what all these vehicles were actually for. <laughs> Let's just pretend, right? It's a kid's toy, everybody. Okay, next we have trains. Okay, now, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling more of the com commuter train. This one, this one, this one, um, what we would call like a metro link here in California. I think that's what it's called. I'm not acting like I'm an expert. So I'm going to pull that one off. And put it on the track somewhere. Let's put it here. Would it be on the track? I guess it would be on the track, right? Not above it. That would be weird. Okay, there's one. This is gonna be like our main piece, and then we'll put put the people. And um, two. Now I hear someone doing their yard work. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta get my videos in while my kid is napping. It's just kind of. Oh no. I think that's the end of it. Oh no. Did I mess up? because I think this piece is supposed to be the middle. Darn it, dang it. Hold on. We're gonna fix it. Anyways, yeah, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I gotta get a, I gotta get those videos in while I can. I have a three-year-old and a six-year-old. And sometimes that means it's a daytime video. And sometimes that means you might hear something in the background because people are rude and they don't care that I'm making a video. Okay, we have like a dangling off situation right there, but doesn't that look so cool? Okay, so that's going to be like our main train. And now we have to pick some people. Like, hmm. Well, I feel like this dude is definitely just like, I'm minding my business. I'm reading my morning paper or like magazine. Get me to work. I'm gonna scoot it down. And he's probably gonna be like over here. Just kinda like. I guess I can kinda like put him on a bench, huh? I could. I don't know if that really works. Let's just say it does. There. He's like. Do 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 do. Minding my business. I have to do the cowboy. Um, mostly just because it's so cute and funny. And I would love for there to be a cowboy just waiting for a train or waiting for his girlfriend to get off a train so he can, like, sing her a song or something. That'd be funny. I put him a little bit lower because I'm trying to give the illusion that he's actually sitting on a bench. Um, but I don't know if it's working. Okay, the cowboy would have luggage. So let's pretend that this rolling suitcase is his. And we'll put it right next to him. Because he has to have luggage with him if he's going somewhere. We'll do that. And then I really like this guy. He looks very professional. He has the paperwork. He's waiting for his meeting. He wants to get the job. And let's put him over here. Oh, because then it looks like he's throwing his work away. We'll put him by the bench. Okay, now we have to do a girl because for some reason I did all guys. <laughs> Unintentionally. Um, how about this lady? She's cute. Okay. We'll put her over here um, on the edge. Mm, let's put her kind of by the trash can. Because she looks like she has something she wants to throw away. Like a like a coffee cup, kind of. I don't know if you can see that, but... Let me see. She definitely has something in her hand. Okay. And... 
one more. I kind of want to do the guy with the flowers because I don't know who he's waiting for. But he's definitely waiting for someone to get off the train. And I think that's romantic. So we'll put him right there. He's waiting for his wife. Or maybe his mom or something. Anyways, I'm just going to do the one train because there's a lot of pieces to the train. Like a lot. And last but not least, we'll do the airplanes, which I will admit is probably my least favorite one. No offense to my father-in-law, who is a former pilot, but this one's just my least favorite one. So to me, this looks more like a traditional airport, even though it does have like all these like fighter jets. Um, it really looks like more like a traditional airport to me. Um, so let's do that. Let's try for this one. I like, it's a little bit smaller and kind of a purplish color, which I totally dig. So let's do that. If I can get it off. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh no. Never used this one before. There we go. Um, oh gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I just hit my tripod so hard. I'm not going to edit that out, though. I'm not lying to you. I'm not going to pretend. Okay. Um, would a helicopter at an airport both be at the airport? See? See how, like, naive I am? <laughs> like, I don't know. Don't tell my father-in-law. Um, like this kind of helicopter? Let's try it. I think my son has used this one before. This one you have to be careful of because the propellers, they're like little individual propellers. And it's like a lot more delicate the way it's cut out. I'm going to pretend that the grass is a landing pad for whatever the reason. Because it just looks like it is. And I'm going to put the helicopter right there. And then we got to make it look like an airplane is coming in for a landing, right? Which is definitely this one which my son has used before, but you couldn't see it because he laid, he layered a whole bunch of stickers on top of each other right here. So I'm gonna put it kind of where he put it, but not layer anything on top of it. It kind of looks like someone should be yelling, straighten out your wings, <laughs> but I think it looks kind of cool. And then maybe some employees to help the airplanes land. We have one down here. He's kind of facing the wrong way, but we're gonna put him there anyways. Now he looks like he's gonna get like hit. Um, the sky. So then it's gonna kind of look like two planes are coming in for a landing. I'll put it like right here maybe. Like, this is like a commercial type airplane. This one probably is too from the front. And that one looks like a private plane. Like the kind that famous people use. Like, like this is just like me. Like regular old me. Like a famous billionaire. And like the Kardashians. <laughs> In my head anyways. And then we have like a work vehicle. We'll put him kind of like off to the side. There's even like a little guy in it. Can you see that? So cute. We'll put him like, mm, let's put him right here. Let's say he's taking a break <laughs> or something. Oh, I found a guy that's facing the right way. Here, we'll put this guy over here for like no reason. He's telling someone they can come in for a landing. I found one right here that's facing the right way, I think, for that plane. At least it visually makes more sense. Okay. There we go. That makes more sense. Okay. Alright, you guys. I think that is just about it. So we have more of a commercial airplane setting no fighter jets, uh, nothing vintage, no air show. 
Um, we have people waiting for the train, waiting for people to get off the train. Um, it's a slow day, so there's only one Metrolink running. We have the construction workers and the foreman with his truck. We have a man and a woman digging in a dump truck and this thingy, I don't know what it's called, and this guy driving with logs for like no reason really, and a cement truck for my son. The next one is the road, the city. It feels like everyone's on vacation to me. I'm thinking New York in the summertime. So we have a couple of convertibles. Someone's going to the airport. Pizza and flowers. Someone's in their all-terrain vehicle. Everyone's going somewhere for the rest of summer. And then we have a scene that totally feels like summer to me with our sailboats and our dude fishing and sisters playing by the sand, their dog barking at the kids and someone doing a flyover dedication or marriage proposal, in my mind at least. And uh, that's about it. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's really fun for me to sit back and relax and uh, play and I enjoyed taking my time. I did get a request for um, longer videos after my get ready with me video so I tried to get this one to also be um, as close to 40 minutes as I possibly can um, but now I really need to uh, go figure out what I'm going to make for dinner and finish cleaning my kitchen. <laughs> priorities of a grown-up, right? If you'd like to see more videos from me, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you all, and I will see you next time.